Hey, what's up guys? Nick White here. I do tech and coding stuff on Twitch and YouTube. You can check the description for all of my information. Uh, I do Patreon pro um, premium problems on Patreon and uh, I have a Discord if you want to check it out. So this problem is called Goat Latin. Some dislikes here. Uh, a sentence S is given composed of words separated by spaces. Each word consists of lowercase and uppercase letters only. So it's a string and just letters and uh it's a sentence with a bunch of words and it has lowercase and uppercase letters only so no numbers uh we want to convert it to goat latin not pig latin but i guess similar here we have some rules so here's the here's an input and here's what it has to become uh we have to return a string and we're given a string okay if the wor current word so we split it into words because it's a sense of words and then we have to do these wor rules if a word begins into begins with a vowel, append ma to the end of the word. For example, apple begins with a vowel a, so it becomes apple ma. It's pretty dumb. If a word begins with a consonant, remove the first letter and append it to the end, then add ma. So if it's not a vowel, like g is not a vowel, you make it oat g, you move the g to the end, and then you add ma. Okay? And then no matter what, for each letter A to the end of each word, uh, add a one letter A to the end of word for whatever index you're at in the sentence. So the first word gets one A added to the end, second A gets two, etc. Okay, I mean, this is really easy. It's just following these rules. You split the string into words, you follow these rules, and you return a sh new string. And it's terrible time complexity... Uh, it's like n squared, and then the space is like bad too. So um, well, here's our result string. We return our result string. We have to loop through the words. So we'll do string word in s dot split, and we split it on the white space to get the words, and then we do whatever these rules are in here, and then we create it. Uh, we'll use a hash set of characters to account for the vowels, just so we have a constant lookup. Vowels equals uh, new hash set. So we could just do for char c in a e i o u a e i o u. So just um, this is uh, we do capitals because there's capital letters in the string. So we go through char array, we just add to the hash set. And uh, there we go, now we have our hash set. What else, is that it? I mean, we go through and then now we just have to follow the rules. Oh no, we need an index to know what how many A's to add. So we'll say index starts at one, because that's how they do it. They say the first word already counts. Um, index will get incremented each time for each word we see. And then we have to do the word rules. So if we'll get the first letter, since that's important, first letter is equal to word dot char at zero. If first letter is a vowel, so if vowels dot contains first letter, then we add ma to the end. Um, right, yeah. So results plus equals word plus ma because you have to add the current word as well with ma else it's a consonant so we do result is equal word plus actually you remove you take the first letter off and you put it to the end so let's do substring from the first letter to the end plus word dot char at zero or first letter we already have a variable for it so you just take the first letter, put it on the end, and then you add ma. Pretty dumb. And uh, we need spaces as well in our output. So we need to do spaces per word. So the first word doesn't need a space. So we'll just do, okay, if index is greater than one, we'll do results add a space each time. And now we just need to add those leftover a's. So we'll do for int j equals zero j less than i index uh, j plus plus. And um, we just go up to that many A's. So we'll just append A's onto the end now results. 
plus equal a. That's it. I mean, pretty ugly problem. Uh, I guess it's still good to get some practice. Um, there you go. I guess it's good to get practice doing this or whatever, but uh, I mean, it's just following rules. It's not even that good. I don't know what improvements there are. I mean, like, like what is it? I mean, this is C++, but whatever. I don't know who would have a good one. Like, I mean, dude, like, same thing, right? Yeah, same exact thing. So let me know if you guys have a better one, but pretty straightforward. Pretty, pretty bland, but we're doing all the lead codes, so you got to do them all. Thank you guys for watching. See, see you in the next one.